welcome to the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. I recently bought this Quickskins Audi A4 Touring Car Series resin kit and wondered if Quickskins was still in business. So I went to investigate and while I go over this unboxing of the full resin kit, I will tell you what I found out about Quickskins along the way. This is the Audi A4 Touring Car Series. This was the first full kit Joe at Quickskins produced. Let's open the box, pull all the contents out, and go over them in depth along the way with me giving you information about Quickskins. I was able to find some information about Quickskins on the Model Car Magazine forum along with reaching out to known resin collectors in the modeling community who have bought many resin kits from Joe over the years and a few from MS Hobbies. From what I have found, this could be entirely speculation and hearsay as I was not able to find a way to connect to Joe directly to confirm. Quickskins was sold in early to mid 2018 to Mark at m and Hobbies in Arizona. We'll continue on here in a little bit with the story. The instruction manual is a must have if building this kit. Joe gives you all the issues the kit has. You can pause if needed to read this information Joe states, however I will give it to you in a quick rundown as we peruse the instruction manual. Joe creates the masters with very tight tolerances. It is best to always dry fit and check for any fitment issues and correct prior to painting the parts and dealing with the issues after. The wheel tire assembly may have an issue with clearance under the body. With that, it's suggested to sand and shave the backside of the wheel mount until fitment is correct. You may not want to install until after assembly. Fitting the completed chassis plate into the completed body shell is another issue. There may need to be some sanding involved to get this fitment to be exact. And last but not least are the decals. The decals overall are easy, but the Audi rings may give you some fuss, so make sure to bring patience to the table when placing the Audi decals on the body. Please understand these are issues, but not nearly as big of issues as you see with other resin kits. Let's look deeper into the kit. The decals are done very well. They appear to be thinner than Tamiya decals, and it is nice to see the Quickskin's name at the bottom. This identifies these decals were made specifically for this kit and designing them was taken into account to make sure they fit on the body exceptionally well. For the kit being roughly 7 to 8 years old, the decals are holding up very well. I have them in the Ziploc bag to make sure nothing scratches the decals and they stay in tip top shape for when I am ready to build this resin kit. For the glass, there are four parts, the front windshield, the rear window, and the side windows. This is vacuum formed and created very well with what I believe is acetate. I am not a connoisseur on vacuum forming, so if you know what type of plastic is used for vacuum forming, please put it down in the comments below. Overall, I am so far impressed with the quality of this kit with the in-depth instruction guide, Joe stating the faults and how to correct them in this kit along with the decals made specifically for this kit and the vacuum form glass. Let's move on to the first resin sheet. This resin sheet looks great. This was done in a one piece mold based on all parts only having detail on one side. This thin sheet of resin on the top is very neat as it keeps all the parts together and with this there is minimal work that needs to be done on these parts. You really just need to clean the parts, primer, and you're ready to go. Very little work needs to be done on these parts. Continuing on with the story, after M&S bought out Quickskins, the molds were then subcontracted to Fisher Model and Pattern of Paradise, California for resin casting. Unfortunately, in late 2018, there was a big campfire in the Paradise area that destroyed 85% of Paradise, including the destruction of Fisher Model and Pattern. The molds were destroyed in the fire. This was a tough blow to Mark over at m and Hobbies as he only owned the molds for 6 months. We'll continue on with the story here in a little bit. Let's move on to the wheels, tires, and some additional interior and exterior parts. The next set of resin parts include the wheels, tires, and the front portion of the Audi body that makes it a British or German racing version based on what you want. The tires were done in what appears to be rubber and they look incredible. The wheels are also well detailed and no flaws can be found. This kit only has two flaws that I have found from casting and they are very easy to correct and will be shown a little later on in this video. 
On the back side of the wheels, you just need to remove the thin rubber on the back and you will be good to go with mounting the brakes in the chassis. Here is the rear portion of the interior that fits behind the roll cage as you will see later on in the video. This is the British lower portion of the body. The dash has no issues and is very clean, just like what we've seen so far with all the parts in this video. The kit comes with all four brakes and each has an indicator on the back side as to the placement on the chassis. This one is for the right rear. Let's actually bring out all four to show. The back sides of these is what Joe's referring to with shaving or sanding down to allow the brake and wheel to fit under the body with no issues as it is a very tight fit with little wiggle room. The seat is well done to resemble racing back in 1996. It appears to be a Recaro seat style from what I can see. I appreciate the thought into the seat belt cutouts to allow this to be a four or six point seat belt harness based on what you prefer. Here is the German style lower portion of the front of the Audi. Let me bring both of these out together so you can see the differences which are enough but also minimal at the same time. Next is the GT style wing. Overall it is a wing and looks great from my view and hopefully from yours as well. The kit comes with clear resin casted headlights and taillights that look like they were either painted over in clear yellow or they were casted in clear yellow resin. With the final part of the story, after the molds were burned and lost, this not only affected M&S hobbies, but it affected the resin modeling community and other entities. These were one-of-a-kind molds, and this Audi A4 was one of them. Unfortunately, since the Paradise of California fire, M&S Hobbies has since closed its doors. What is out there for this resin kit and all other quickskin resin kits is it. Once a single kit is built, that is one less kit out there for sale. I was amazed at the quality of this kit as I've seen it at shows and was happy to find it for a decent price. For this Audi A4, there were only 200 kits made from that single mold before the fire took it. Let's move on to the interior, roll cage, and the body. The interior, I think, is the best part of this kit. So many great details in here including the Audi logo on the rear back plate and spotting placement of the resin interior parts including the roll cage are very easy to be found. 
There is some texture in certain places and smoothness in others. I am not sure if the texture was expected or by mistake, but it's very cool to give some added detail and depth. The bottom is the first flaw I found with these very small pinholes. However, me placing my fingernail over them, they still feel solid as if they are filled in and not actually there. When I start building this, I will clean it and lay down a light coat of primer to see if these holes are truly there and need to be filled in at all. The roll cage comes in a single piece for the base of the roll cage and an additional piece that will need to be fitted. Overall, it looks great and let's see how it fits into the chassis. The body is solid. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. The body is smooth and there is only a single issue and it's with the front of the body. There is a small pinhole below the radiator and top of the bumper as you will see. Let's take a closer look at the body and see how it currently fits with the roll cage and the lower chassis after I show the underside of the body. With this resin kit having the ability to be both the German and British Championship body styles, I am surprised not many European resin companies don't try to have more of a stake into this portion of the hobby with the Pro Touring, GT, Le Mans, and other competition racing series and replicate the cars that are not in kit form. One fact I found on Model Car Magazine forum that I found really cool was Joe at Quickskins had these instruction sheets translated into German and Japanese for this Audi A4. Pretty cool to see a resin company go to lengths to make sure translation is easy for all his customers. With MS Hobbies closing their doors, and the molds forever gone. I hope Joe can come out with a different resin company name and build us some more great full resin kits. This is a full ready to be built resin kit. This was originally $89.98 by Quickskins. I have seen a few in the past couple of months sell for $230 or more. With this specific full resin kit only having 200 made and the molds were lost in the Paradise California fire, I wouldn't be surprised if these go for more in the future to collectors or builders. If you have watched this video and other videos on my channel and are not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free and you can be notified of all my future release videos by hitting that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well. This helps get this video out there for others to view who may be unaware of my channel or this specific full resin kit by Quickskins. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.